so fast. <laughs> yes, go a little bit. Yeah, but. <laughs> What's up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. We arrived in Bielsko Biała a few days ago, but unfortunately, ever since we got here, we have had nothing but stormy weather. But today, it is really, really sunny and nice out, so we're going to go and explore Bielsko Biała a little bit more. Um, but when you do arrive here, first things first, if you do arrive by train, make sure to check out this absolutely stunning train station. There is the option to kind of walk around it and not walk through the house, but make sure you walk through the train station because that's already a big piece of history and so stunning. It is beautiful. Let's go check it out. Now, if you're going to be arriving in Bielsko Biała by the train, this is the first place that you're going to see. You're basically going to come along, obviously, on the tracks and you can hop off and then come in and explore the station itself. Itself. make sure that you look up when you come into the station because the ceilings the walls and all of the station itself is very very deep in history as you can see um, the structure itself is just incredibly old unique and very beautiful and that's actually a common theme that you will find here in Bielsko Biała a lot of the city itself it's just stunning architecture everywhere you look and the first impression that we got when we arrived in Bielsko Biała was this absolutely stunning station and it really just blew us away instantly. Just on that sign there where I stopped it said that this ori the original train station actually opened in 1855. Obviously it was renovated since then because it's still standing and it's still going strong but it is absolutely beautiful. Now, just as you come out of the train station, you're going to immediately see these as well, these food stands. And these food stands just have so much character to them. It looks like they just have not been moved since, I don't know, the 60s, maybe the 70s. Let us know down in the comments if you know just how long those food stands have been there. There's another one just over here as well. And it looks like it's definitely been through a lot um, over the years and you're also greeted with the stunning street architecture here too uh, we cannot wait to show you guys some of the buildings that we've seen including the building that we're actually staying in is a gem and we cannot wait to show you guys that one too speaking of the architecture this city here is lovingly referred to as little vienna because of its stunning architecture as you can see all around us basically um, some of these houses were even designed by Austrian architects and you can really really see that it resembles Vienna big time now I know what you guys must be thinking Bielsko Biała oh it's a little bit of a small city I don't know if it's gonna have a lot of different options when it comes to shopping for example they do they have a beautiful mall by the name of Sfera S-F-E-R-A and it has everything that you could ever need it's actually split into two sections and both of the malls have everything that you could desire if you do like to shop when you are on a trip keep in mind as well they have everything else Lidl, Biedronka, any of those different types of necessities that you might need if you do have a kitchen in your accommodation or something like that you're sorted here in Bielsko Biała. In that mall Sfera they even have a small co-working space so in case you ever you're ever stuck for wi-fi or you need a quiet place to work or something like that you can go there it's relatively small but they do have very reliant wi-fi and it is a quiet space so um, we kind of used it the last few days just to work <laughs> getting stuff done exactly yeah, the life of youtubers <laughs> now the street that we are currently taking a walk down goes by the name of Sehova and it is directly kind of connected to the shopping mall of Sfera definitely make sure to take a walk down this street just look it up on Google Maps super easy take a walk down this street because there is just so much character and so much stunning buildings a lot of them as we were saying just completely untouched beautiful Austrian style architecture 
the building fronts here are just incredibly interesting because you see a lot of buildings some of them that just have not been touched like they haven't even been cleaned and they actually have like this really black black dark exterior and then you see the ones that are really well looked after and they're like pristine white beautiful and just really stand out the contrast between those buildings really is just stunning and it just adds a whole sort of charm to Bielsko Biała. This place certainly one of the more unique cities that we have visited since we arrived in Poland. Walking along the streets here you really see loads and loads of bakeries with absolutely amazing looking pastries in the window and to be honest like if it wasn't for the summertime and for the beach time to be just in front of our doorstep now, I would go to every single bakery and get something because it just looks mouth-watering. I want it all. Guys, we just quickly want to give a shout out to our great friends, Danny and Diggy, two amazing Polish people that we have connected with through both of us having YouTube channels. Now, Diggy or Dagmara is actually from Bielsko Biała and she said that she was getting very emotional when she saw that we were here in Bielsko Biała and it is just a pleasure for us to be here especially when you have Polish people reaching out to you and letting you know that they are from these specific areas because we want to go away from the typical beaten path of where every tourist in Europe goes to. We want to come to the places that the Polish people love and that the, the places where Polish people cherish basically. So that's why we came out of our way from Katowice down here to Bielsko Biała. And speaking of Danny and Diggy, they recommended this restaurant here behind me called Zupolandia, which is a very interesting name. Uh, kind of just sounds like Soupland, <laughs> but they have very traditional Polish food. They don't appear to be open. There's a chair in front of the door right now. So maybe it's an option for us later on. You never know. Super interesting, guys. Right now we are on the Biawa River, and this used to be Silesia's border with Lesser Poland. It used to divide the Kingdom of Bohemia from the Kingdom of Poland all the way up until 1526 and Bielsko and Biała used to be two separate cities and they joined together in unison and you can see why they did that. This area, these two cities combined as one in a unity together, they are just absolutely stunning, especially when you have these clear blue skies like we have today. Let's go and explore some more of this beautiful place. Now this little cute guy here is something that every single Polish child knows, or probably every adult as, as well, because obviously they have been children at some stage. Um, it is a character from the show Bolek and Lolek, and apparently they have several of these in the town of Bielsko Biała. You have this one here, and we saw another one of Bolek and Lolek itself directly in front of the Sfera shopping mall, which we are going to show you later in the video as well. Around Bielsko Biała, we're actually seeing quite a lot of street vendors that are selling strawberries. Now, tell me if I'm wrong, strawberry season, usually in Ireland and I think Germany as well, a lot of Central Europe, strawberry season typically is towards the latter end of summer. And now being just in the beginning of June, seeing all of these people selling strawberries is pretty interesting. I think we might have to purchase some strawberries along the way and give them a try just to see if they are on the, uh, if they're good enough. Um, I'm sure they're absolutely delicious. Um, it is very, very warm. As we said, we've been getting a lot of stormy weather and that's obviously due to the rapid change in weather um, coming in towards summertime. And this street actually, right now that we're walking on, we saw a sign back there that described it as this street used to actually be known as Vienna Street and right now it is currently called 11 Listopada Street. Now I don't know how to say 11 in Polish but it is an absolutely stunning street. You do have 
sort of cobblestones as you're walking along and all of the buildings are really this sort of like Art Nouveau Austrian style architecture and it is beautiful. Have a look. This building here right behind me is one of the prime examples of the buildings that have been renovated and have been cleaned up. This building here is called the Frog House because of the two cute frogs that are sitting right over the entrance and it's absolutely stunning. Now unfortunately at the moment you have a little bit of a construction site going on um, in front of it. It kind of looks like they are constructing maybe a new market square or something like that. At least. Uh, if you look at how large the construction site is you can kind of see that it should be or could be a market square but this building is so stunning just across from that frog house that naomi was talking about there is martin luther church and it is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful church here uh, we just to be honest everywhere we're walking at the moment we're just kind of taken back because we understand when cities such as Krakow or Dansk make it onto people's lists of destinations in Poland that you have to travel to. Bielsko Biała should definitely be on the exact same list if you are coming to Poland because this church is just absolutely spectacular. This church was actually built in 1792 up until I think 1798. So it was fully built and finished before 1800 and it is structurally absolutely stunning and it supposedly has a very beautiful altar as well. Unfortunately the gates here are closed so we cannot go in and have a look around but that is something that we would love to do right now. Now if you're like us and you're not from Poland it's very very likely that you've probably never heard of Bielsko Biała and we never heard of this place either until we were sitting in Katowice and we decided to pop open Google Maps and then we just kind of had a little bit of a scroll around on Google to see if there was anywhere close by that was interesting. Bielsko Biała just happened to pop up on Google Maps, clicked in, did a little bit of research and supposedly Bielsko Biała is a beautiful destination if you do want to come and experience nature. Now today in this video we're just basically giving you guys a nice walk through the old town of Bielsko and some of Biała as well but we do absolutely intend on going and checking out the stunning nature around us as well. I believe the Beskidi Mountains are here and they're very easily accessed as well from public transport. So that is on our list. We do have good weather today and it says we're going to have good weather tomorrow. So that is on our agenda. We're going to go and check out. I think there's some gondolas or cable cars brings you through these stunning mountain areas. And we are very, very excited to show you guys that very soon too. So this is actually super interesting. We came across this really stunning building. It actually kind of looks maybe like the town hall of Bielsko Biała. And in front of it, you have this amazing list of partner cities that are obviously involved in some way with Bielsko Biała. And there is some pretty interesting places on here. Check it out. You have Grand Rapids in Michigan in the US. You've got Romania by Amare. You've got France, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Great Britain, Serbia, Hungary, Hungary, Czechia, Poland, Austria, Germany, and Slovakia as well. Uh, or Slovenia. I'm not sure. Slovakia? Slovenia? Which one is that? I think it's Slovakia. Slovakia? I'm not too great between Slovakia, Slovenia, flags, they're very similar, but, but um, Slovakia, so. yeah, <laughs> we'll just take it as Slovakia for now, but super cool. This building is huge. 
very large building and uh, very interesting looking too. You do have the European Union flag out front as well alongside the Polish flag and two other flags. But yeah, I'm not sure. Is this the town hall? Let us know, let us know down in the comments guys because it is a very beautiful building and it definitely looks like it's something to do with government. Yeah, right now there's this absolutely stunning couple standing in front of it as well. So I assume they just got married here or maybe in one of the churches surrounding it. But uh, wow, the bride just looks so stunning. If this is you getting married, congratulations to the bride and the groom. We checked just there. Zupolandia is open from 12 to 5, which means they're open now. Um, we have been a little bit early before. We were kind of there around 11.30 or something like that. But that means we are going to get a little bite to eat because we haven't had breakfast yet. I'm very, very excited. I think I'm going to go for the cutlet. Danny and Diggy recommended that one. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Now, Zupalandia seems to be uh, a very, very local type of restaurant, so like it's not very touristy and it's insanely cheap. We just ordered the cutlet shabobi. The other option was uh, cutlet mieloni, but we don't know the difference, so we just went <laughs> with the shabobi and we ordered the goulash kasha. There was another goulash as well, but we just went with the kasha one, so um, and all of it came down to. 44.80 swati, which is 9 euro 72 for a full meal with drinks and everything. So um, this has to be good. All right, guys. So cutlet or cutlet shabovi um, looks absolutely incredible. It's kind of like a fried steak, sort of like a schnitzel. And I got a hefty serving of fries with my portion as well. I got a nice mixed kind of side salad with some chopped up carrots and something that kind of looks like coleslaw as well. Now for the price you cannot go wrong with this and I'm gonna give this a little bit of a taste test for you guys on camera right now. Let's go. Here you go guys, cheers. Yep, very similar to a schnitzel. This cutlet is absolutely fantastic. The meat inside is very, very tender. It's very hot as well. I actually kind of burned my tongue putting that in my mouth. But absolutely, certainly already can recommend you guys to come here. The atmosphere in this restaurant it's just one of a kind, it's very traditional, it's very Polish. As Naomi said, you do not hear many tourist voices around here, apart from ours. Um, but that's because we have amazing friends that recommend us to come to places such as this. I'm gonna finish this off right now. My goulash just arrived and it looks out of this world, tasty. And as always, if you know me, you know I am the big pickle fan. First things first, we have to try the pickle. This is better than the pickle in Zakopane. Mm. Kind of tastes like um, it was probably pickled at home, I'd say. But um, let's give the goulash a try. So with my goulash came uh, a lot of buckwheat, some pickles and two little carrots. But let's give the goulash a try. I hope I won't burn my face like Luke did. Wow. I did not burn my face. Um, the meat is very, very tender and super juicy and all of the herbs and spices are just on point. It's so delicious, I want to cry. <laughs> my God, you guys, that was easily one of the best lunches we ever had. Oh, there's a car. I'm trying not to get hit by the car. Yeah, guys, 100% uh, that was probably the best lunch that we have had since we came to Poland. Price-wise, it was less then 10 euro and we actually went for two of the most expensive items on the menu so realistically if you think about it you could go in there if you're feeling hungry and you can get a whole assortment of food that is really going to fill you up a proper nice sized meal and you don't even have to spend if you're going in there on your own you're probably going to end up spending around four or five euro so thumbs up for zupolandia 
Something that we are noticing as we're walking around uh, Biosco Biawa as well, there's plenty of really cool looking cafes. Me, myself, I am a massive coffee addict. So when I see a lot of different types of cafes, that just really brings me a lot of happiness. We saw one called Flat White Cafe, which has a lot of positive Google reviews. So we might go and check that one out soon. There's also one called Kafka as well, which we walked past just there a few minutes before we came to Zupolandia. And they have a coffee tonic or like an espresso tonic. And that is actually the first coffee that I tried when I came to Poland because I never saw that anywhere else. But when we arrived in Krakow, I just had to try an espresso tonic and it really blew, blew my mind. It was incredibly tasty. It's just basically coffee, tonic water, and then usually served with some ice. And if you want, you can have a drop of milk in there as well. But yeah, guys, the coffee culture in Poland gets a thumbs up as well. Bolek, Lolek and me here want to give a shout out to all of the people who guessed the flags from the last video, right? You were totally right. It was Hungary, Denmark and Argentina. So here are all of the people who guessed it right. So right now we are in Galleria Sefera or the uh, kind of like a super mall. And this seems to be like the go-to meeting point or meeting destination for everybody here in Białsko Biała. You have every store that you could imagine. You have a ton of different eateries and places to get some nice coffee as well. You have amazing stores here, plenty of designer stores, plenty of things to check out if you are someone that is interested in shopping around. Definitely come and check out Sfera if you are in the city of Bielsko Biała because you will not be disappointed. And I believe they do have a nice big food court there as well. If you are missing some of the typical fast food chains, such as, you know, the typical KFC, McDonald's, etc. I think this mall is so cool because you do have obviously like the normal brands that are known, such as like North Face or maybe Sephora or something like that. But then you also have these really small, I think Polish type of boutiques um, that I never heard of before. And they have super, super nice clothing there as well for a little bit more of an affordable price. So um, if you are interested in shopping, definitely come here. By the way, they have a cinema here as well. And we went there the other day. They even show two movies in English with Polish subtitles. So if you are looking for a cinema just to do like maybe a date night or something like that, you can definitely do that here as well. Now, this is the street that we are actually staying on here in, Bel in Bielsko Biała. It's called Norberta uh, Barlikiego. Um, again, don't know if I'm absolutely butchering that. But it is a beautiful street and it kind of just runs horizontally beside um, a really famous street that's here as well that's called Three Maya. So it's just the number three and then M-A-J-A. -A. Um, again, I'm not too sure what three is in Polish. Maybe it's just Tre. But these streets, um, and particularly actually this street, Barlekiego, Norberta Barlekiego, is stunning and it leads kind of directly down to Sfera and Lidl and everything else and right now we're actually going to quickly give you guys a tour inside our building because the building that we're staying in is very interesting. My new favorite drink, I've never seen it before anywhere else, is Oshi. They do like um, isotonic type of drinks with or without sugar but predominantly without I think and they're super super tasty. My favorite one is the grapefruit version, <laughs> this one. <laughs> now guys, uh, we're actually standing outside a shop that is sort of gaining a lot of fame in Poland just because of their hot dogs. It's called Żabka and apparently we're hearing so many different stories of people driving from all over Europe just to try out the hot dogs from Jabka. They're supposed to be really amazing. We haven't had any yet, but it is a store uh, that you see all over Poland and it is super convenient. Um, it's kind of like Poland's 7-Eleven. Um, and this is what you should look for, the big green sign. 
um, super great and the prices are not that bad as well for a convenience store so let's go check out our accommodation as i was saying super interesting building lots to see and yeah very old as well pink is not my favorite purple uh <laughs> The purple. white one is better than the purple one. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of our accommodation. This is the hallway that you are essentially greeted with when you come inside. <laughs> and it is an incredibly old building. The staircases and everything are really, really interesting. And we had a very strange check-in experience. Um, we basically booked this on Airbnb booking or sorry booking.com and we basically came here we arrived we got off the train we were like okay great it was only a short enough train trip but we arrived and yeah that is where the chaos ensued it basically was almost like an escape room but like the reverse because you're trying to make your way into your room and um, so we arrived at the door there was nothing we, there was no buzzer, no buzzer for the place. So we were kind of wondering like, what's going on? How are we actually going to get in here? I went onto booking.com and I messaged them, no reply. Um, they sent us a message that was fully in Polish. So we translated it on booking.com and booking.com totally messed up the translation. So we only got like around 20% of the information that the person sent over. So we had still no idea what we were doing. We eventually figured out, thanks to Google Translate, that we had to type in or punch in a specific code to get in here. And then when we come in here, we arrive to this black box. And yeah, there's basically a specific code. It's a self check-in. We popped in the code and then we had to search for our key. There's a bunch of different keys inside the black box. And then we had to figure out which floor we were on. And that was a whole different challenge because there's no sign for this place whatsoever. So you come in and you see this and this goes up, I don't know, four floors and we it turns out that we're on like the third floor a relative very high third floor because the ceilings in here are huge but yeah let's check this place out this place is really really awesome looking so this is like the staircase check out the steel work i think from what naomi was saying that it's like a black steel yeah, so um, it kind of looks like somebody painted over it in a very bad way. Um, I'm <laughs> sure if you would bring this back to life and just take all of the paint off, um, there's a black steel under it. I kind of saw some areas where the paint coat was missing. So um, it seems like a black steel under this. Yeah, and the windows here. Check these out. Obviously, it's a pretty warm day right now, so they do have the windows open, but these windows are really cool. They're super old fitted windows. Um, yeah. The, the, the ceilings are so high that it feels like you're walking two floors when you're actually walking one. <laughs> so the third floor feels like a sixth floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, these stairs have just, they just really made us realize that we need to work on our cardio a bit more. But uh, nonetheless, very interesting building, very cool building. Um, we will leave the booking.com link down below for you guys to check out. It is the cheapest one that we could find in Bielsko Biała because the prices are going crazy right now. So if you ever do book this place, don't expect too much. I mean, we got a private room, but it's still like, you kind of feel like you jumped into some sort of a communistic <laughs> other universe. Yeah. Communist, not communistic. Communistic. <laughs> it, is a, it definitely is a strange feeling. It's like you're almost in a Tim Burton movie or something but yeah. in, in real life. But to be uh, honest, like I love it. I love these types of places because it kind of feels like you get an experience with your um, accommodation. Sure. I think Luke is not so much in favor of that. <laughs> yeah, like I typically go for the newer type of places if I can and if it's in the price budget. 
but for the price this place is actually pretty cool we're not actually going to bring you inside because there is a lot of people that are staying there and we don't want to disturb anybody yeah. but this is the building that it's in um super interesting and definitely gave us a shock when we first arrived here but guys for now we hope you enjoyed this bielsko biawa kind of first impressions video we are absolutely in love with this city and we cannot wait to spend another day or two yeah. here exploring around get ready for another video from bielsko biawa when we go and uh, hike when we go hike we're not too sure of the names of the different mountains and stuff like that yet we still need to do some research but if you do have any hikes or mountain ranges or something that you want to recommend make sure to drop them down in the comments below for sure guys uh, my name is luke my name is naomi we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace Thanks very much for watching this video. We just launched our community, our channel memberships here on YouTube. So if you want to be part of this community, make sure to check out the benefits and perks down below. All of this is only possible because of you guys and with your support, we will be able to keep going for a lot longer.